Okay, well, I'm out here at St. John's Church. Uh, when I first arrived, the light was much better. Um, there was more cloud separation and definition in the sky. And um, I set up the camera, and by the time I got the composition all set up, the light had, of course, changed, and now it's pretty heavily overcast. I've actually already taken a photograph. I felt like I needed to work fast to try and catch what little light there was. Um, so, you know, a lot of times you come out and after you've taken the time to set up the camera, the light looks good when you first originally set it up. And then by the time you're ready to take the photograph, the light's changed and it's not quite to your liking. Sometimes on these types, in these situations, when the light changes, I'll just, you know, pack the camera up and call it good. Sometimes you wait to see if the light's going to improve, uh, which is what I actually did. I kept waiting to see if the light was going to get better, but there's a lot of cloud coverage. And I don't think that it was, I didn't think it was going to improve anymore upon what it had, where it was. So I quickly took a photograph. Um, so what I did here was, well, I'm using the 8x10 camera. I've got a 210 millimeter lens and um, I've got a, a color, an orange grad filter in here. Um, I used the orange grad to hopefully get a little bit more separation and contrast uh, in the sky. I still don't think it's going to happen. But, you know, sometimes I like to challenge myself and see what I can come up with um, when the light isn't 100% to my liking. Um, sometimes in situations, you know, you might travel quite far to take a photograph and, um, you know, you, you, you want to you wanna take an exposure just to see what you can get. Um, so I'll, I'll go back and develop. I mean, I don't have high hopes for it. Uh, I'll show the image anyway, at the, regardless of what it looks like at the end of this video. So in terms of movements, I did a little bit of a front tilt here on it to get the foreground in focus and also the background. Uh, I've got a little bit of a rise on it and then a little bit of um, perspective controls here for some of the lines. Uh, and as you can see here, I've got my, uh, like I was saying earlier, the uh, orange grad filter. To add separation to the sky. I ended up shooting at f32 at an eighth of a second. There is a little bit of wind now and so I'm you know a little concerned about some of the, the movement of some of the, the grasses at the on the edge of the road here which I did include in the composition. Um, but I'm not really gonna I, I don't want to take another exposure. I don't really feel that it's worth it. The light's not improving so I'm just gonna get packed up and head out and look for a different location uh, see if I can find anything better. Okay, well I just arrived at my next location, Emanuel Lutheran Church. I don't know if you can tell in the video, but it's actually lightly raining right now, and I don't believe I'm going to be able to shoot at this location. What I'm going to do is spend some time scouting it out so that I can find the right angle and lens selection for the next time I do come out here to take this photograph. Um, the lighting is not right on it anyway. In order for me for it to be lit in the front of it like I'm envisioning, I'd have to be here a few hours earlier so the sun would be over in this location right now. It's actually up here. Um, so it looks like today the only location I'm going to be able to shoot at is St. John's Church. Hopefully that turns out well. Um, and hopefully you continue to watch. In my next video I have a little bit better luck with some of the locations and the, the way the weather and lighting is cooperating.